I'm at Google's I.O. Developers Conference in San Francisco, and Google had one of the flashier announcements it's had in quite some time. It's the Nexus 7 tablet, and this device is going right for Amazon's Kindle Fire. Why? Well, because it's a 7-inch form factor, and it's the same $200 price point. We haven't been able to test this thoroughly yet, but you can just look at it and see how much crisper this screen is and how much faster it is than the Kindle Fire. Now, this looks great against the Kindle Fire, but can it compete with the iPad? It's the multi-billion dollar question. The iPad has a huge set of applications that this just doesn't have yet. So, is this going to compete? Probably because of the price point, but we're going to have to wait and see. So I'm going to pause this and the video pauses right on the TV that's in front of me. Now, it's not just about consuming content, it's about playing content as well. In addition to the tablet, Google also announced the Nexus Q device, which is a at-home entertainment hub. Anything that you have on your tablet, your phone, your computer can be played through that hub. All you have to do is just hit a play button and instantly it's going to your TV or stereo. Now, one of the more explosive announcements that Google had was Project Glass. It's the cyborg-like glasses that you can wear right over your eyes. It's like having a smartphone right on your face. Now, this isn't ready for prime time just yet, so Google isn't making this available, but it is going to be available next year for developers who were here and are willing to fork over $1,500. Some people are walking around the conference today with those on. Uh, they look kind of funny, but they're also pretty intriguing, and they are capturing a lot of interest from the developers here. Now, Google's announcement comes on the heels of Microsoft's Surface tablet, and then Apple announcing their new iOS 6 platform. So how does this compare? Which one is going to win? Well, we'll have to see, but Google had some very impressive things to show, and they're going to certainly give Apple and Microsoft a run for their money.